Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Dangan Ramp. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. All right. So, hey, you ever sit down with a nice big bucket of really poorly made greasy-ass fucking chicken? And then a dog runs by your window and into the woods? Because that's been the last 30 minutes for me. Just eating my eat, just eating the chicken. Just eating my chicken, and then all of a sudden I hear rawr, 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 rawr. Look out my window and I see my parents dog run into the fucking woods. And guess and guess who had to go help rescue the stupid thing where it get eaten by fucking cougars. That'd be me. Yeah. Uh, but I ate my chicken though. I'm gonna regret this decision later because it's really poorly made greasy ass chicken. Alright. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room! Oh no! Impossible! Impossible! Massacre! Impossible! I can believe that! I'm gonna order. Oh, I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's uh, the least I can do. I mean, at least she knows her limit. Everyone do your best. Hooray! Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Hooray for not losing your foot. Man, my parents fucking thought- Well, I'm just, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? Just sitting here, eating a big bucket of fucking chicken. Getting ready for stream. And my parents just, like, they let their dog out and just- it just decided to run into the woods. I don't understand how it even happened. Oh, is Monica functional now? Holy shit! It only took Monica like actually only took Monica five minutes this time. That's a that's an academy record. If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Yes, Akane, hey, it's not just for eating. When you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Almost just like the killer I planted it. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... The gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? Can we just fucking execute Hyoko already? Hey, Hyoko, free Hyoko already. After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hit oh, someone boy, in the here. beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! Bathroom. I even glanced inside the shower room as I was oh. running away, okay. but there was nobody there. What if he hit on the roof? Okay, then, does that mean the killer came back? Huh. Hmm. Ah! I wonder, at any rate, the there's like something to on my tooth. Connected to what really happened. And it's gross, I know, I'm sorry. I wanna play a new game, is that what you're thinking? Yes. So we prepared a perfect product for you. You'll dive in your own brain and get logically discerned the serious answer from several questions. It's called the Logic Dive. During Logic Dive, you'll control a version of yourself created in the image in your brain. You have to reach the goal and final destination of synapse course. You can move sideways with the mouse and accelerate with the control key. Press the right mouse button to break and the left mouse button to jump. Okay. If you various obstacles, you'll encounter your, your progress of the course. Make sure you finally improve this course and you reach the goal. Okay. Okay. Alright. This, this might be a very important problem. If the killer time with evidence after Hyoko ran away at the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think, if I just focus on the thing, but I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, let's see how this works. Hopefully it's not bugged. Oh my fucking god. It's a fucking... It's fucking Super Hexagon. It, it's just Super Hexagon again. I mean, at least it controls a bit easier, but by god, is it slow. Oh, I press, gotta press control to speed up, like... 
Uh, when did Kayla arrive at the beach house? Before! Yeah, I did it! I don't know what that thing, what that thing I just jumped over was. I'm going to assume it was correct to jump over it, though. Oh, no, it's a question. When did the Kayla leave the bathhouse? Um, after she left. Yeah! So this is fairly easy so far, if a little bit mind-numbing. Is Killer doing... Where was the Killer hiding when... Uh, he was hiding in the beach! Shit! He was hiding on the beach, in the beach house then, I guess. But where in the beach house? Okay. I mean, there's no real way to get this wrong, then. It's all coming together. I mean, that's just, just kind of a waste of time. You think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. All that time. All that thinking time. Hang on. Didn't I just say just there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Oh boy, it's almost as if when she's not hiding. No. Yeah, I had a piece. I had a piece of chicken like hide. stuck like, look, in you know. my teeth. I had to get rid of it without being gross. Sorry. What are you saying? Stop being annoying, or I'm gonna make a Kanye bop you on the head and shut you up for good. How are you gonna make her do it? Are you gonna fucking bully her into doing it? I need to answer by any means. The place where the killer is hiding, the place where Hyoko hasn't looked is. Um. I don't know. I haven't. In the drinks! Crap! Who's hiding? Uh, in the. in here! Crap! Was hiding. I don't fucking know. Was hiding in here. Here. The killer was probably hiding in the closet. But how would they hide there? If she was in there the though. Closet? That's where I was locked up. After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But I'm sure she would have noticed. It's not that big of a closet. But could two people even hide in such a small place? Exactly. And without Hyoko knowing. This is hard. It's hardly That's a big why closet. That's made sure to arrange a hiding place. Fuck. I don't know. Um. Here! Here! Inside the body the boogie boards? What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. If they were like tiny like Fuyahiko, maybe. Huh? It but the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place, because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy. That's true, it was actually pretty weird, pretty weirdly messy in there. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? They'd also have to be very small. Surfboards aren't that big. Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Hey, Buki, you shut mean, your fucking mouth. It's always darkest under the lighthouse. <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. You shouldn't speak at all, Ibuki. Anyway, the huh. killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. 
I agree and then they rub their balls on everything. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. All right. If Is he just re like I? Punch, I'm gonna be honest. I stopped paying attention to what he was saying. Is he? <laughs> oh, you shut up. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. He just repeated what we just fucking said. Can I ask you about something that seems He just repeated what I fucking said. Like, what? Why? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. What? I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. Holds up sports. As I recall, the Lol, body so random. announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included? Among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, uh, something like that is basically what it's supposed okay, to be. Okay, why are you being you so sound goofy? Very articulate. Why are you lying, Monokuma? Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery oh, shit. isn't supposed to be used for deduction. Oh, shit. Yeah, there were... It's there were only two people when that went off. Trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. Only two people so were in there when the announcement went off. That I used it for deduction? Ooh. I understand your excuse, but... Yeah, the killer was in there the whole time. Depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say Oh, it, it? doesn't it include doesn't the killer. Include oh. the killer this time, okay? Oh, God, I'm confused. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? I'm confuzzled now. Hi, Nothing. baby Ken. I just thought it was somewhat strange. You're the one who went on a tangent. Nagato, you're just confusing everyone now and wasting uh, time. Uh, Fucking stop. We were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed, and then he further, dropped the gummy without realizing that she doesn't like the lemon clear. ones. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be alright. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Okay. Then I should explain you the final feature in non-stop debate. So this way forward, you'll now be able to use the truth flashback. If you hold down the left mouse button, the shape of the reticle will change. If you aim the remark's weak spot and keep it in that position, you'll be able to memorize it. Memorize phase is going to be fired once as- Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought this was gone! I thought you guys said that this would be- Damn it! I thought you guys said that this was removed. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, well, no, I mean... What did the killer do? No, because the reason he dropped a yellow one is because Hi Hiyoko bought all of the gummies. Hiyoko bought every single bag of gummies she likes. So, for Fuyuhiko to frame her, she he would have had to have used a bag of gummies that she didn't like. And she doesn't like... She doesn't like the yellow one, so I imagine the yellow one... The yellow gummies would be the only ones left in the store. So, it's not really convenient. More just Hiyoko fucking hoards food. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? I know you did it! So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Oh? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. That's possible. If they use something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? In the trash! They cut it up and... 
toilets doesn't work, you dumb dumb. Someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare, it would definitely clog the toilet. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe they were able to wash it off. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go with that. Oh, for fuck's sake! Whose what opinion do I do use? The blood on their body. Maybe they simply washed it off. What? They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Fucking for real? I don't. What did the killer do with the blood on their? Maybe they simply. They I don't know. The ship, I so don't know what the answer is. What if maybe they wore one? If they used something, what did they do with the blood? They cut it up and. As someone who flushed, it would definitely cl. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. No. Okay. So I can't. I can't take. Maybe they were able to wash it off. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. So I can only what use it on yellow ones. With the blood on their body. Maybe they simply they couldn't use the ship, so washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to. Uh, what if maybe they wore one? If they used something other than the what did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushed, it would definitely cl Maybe it's the other. Perhaps someone other. Maybe they were able to wash it off. I don't. I do not know. I do not know the answer. I I'm, I don't see an answer. This has to be one where I memorize a, where I memorize one of their things, but. No, the not no not there's no option for water bottles, dude. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. I I have no fucking idea. I have no fucking idea what the answer to this is. I I don't. Alan Dark, that's not an option. That's literally not an option. I need to take someone's yellow opinion and somehow use it to disprove. I don't. What I don't get it. Do with the blood on their body. I don't get it. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they no, wore one no, because I'm not. Because this is the tutorial for memorization, so I have to use memorization. If they use I don't get a bullet in the shower. I don't get a bullet this time. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? I have to use I have to use a memory bullet. They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushed, it would definitely clog. Maybe it's the other. Perhaps someone other. Maybe they were able to wash it off. I, I, you know, I'm just gonna fire this at the first yellow one I find. Do? Maybe they simply they couldn't use this. So washing it off would have been impossible. Oh, for fuck's sake! They didn't have to. Oh, what? Maybe they wore one. I get. I'm something other than the shower. I'm pretty they sure they that the that it's Fuyuhiko is Fuyuhiko plus like others than the shower. Other, perhaps someone other. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Yeah, I think that's it.
What did the killer do with the blood of- Maybe they simply- They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong! Alright, I don't see how, but fuck it. If they just I needed to fucking wash hate memory blood, bullets. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. I fucking hate memory bullets so much. They, they are never clear. Something else. You just make me angry. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? All in the showers used to wash your blood. It was the drinks. I see. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? Yep. Just splash him. I've seen through it. Oh shit! She's gonna fight me now. In theory, but that's impossible. Why are you trying to stab me, what? girl? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand. Oh god, I fucking- no I fucking hate the trials the so much! I love everything about this game but the trials! Ugh, angry! Why are you trying to stab me, girl? Damn. Trash can's already gonna be it. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try think one bottle drippy wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! No! Fuck you! It's the, it's the trash can! I can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. The trash can was full! <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Ah! Fuck you! Cut through those words. They're in the trash! No. There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times a, do I have to tell you? I am sensitive to the I am sensitive to the so fucking bad. viability of trash. That was after the incident, right? Just root through with my mammal nose. Were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood. Look at Hiyoko being like, man, I bet you're the killer. You shit. So you're saying the it's water me, bottles It's me, Lolly. Hi. Because they were all used. That's a logical fallacy. No, it's not! It's cause and effect, it's you stupid fallacy. cunts! There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Oh my god, evidence Pekko, like you stupid fucking bitch. Water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Yeah, yeah, because I'm the only one here oh, with a brain. Right. Because I'm an artificial like intelligence, probably. Well... Now Fucking, by the way, um, I had, I by the way, the if you know, if you know ago, this, I feel like I and if you know this game, and, uh, bombs. and you want to see how powerful my stand <gasps> is, or how unpowerful it is, so uh, go to the Discord, then, and I had Gladiator post my predictions in, in the spoiler chat that I'm not allowed in. Dousing your body with lots of water so, bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Oh, sorry, Lefu. So hey, if you're in the Discord, Gladi Gladiator has Gladiator is uh posted posted how uh, how how my prediction's going to go. That person would be. Oh, it seems you've realized who the killer is. Hmm. See, just as I thought. Uh, hold on. You you know who the killer is? Yes, I do. For you, Hiko. True. Let me ask, who might that be? It's Fuyahiko! Okay. I don't see how you get there from plastic bottles. Then the killer, Mairu's killer! Must be that person! Plastic water bottles. Um... Could be anyone. I mean, I don't see how plastic water bottles, like, applies to anything. It's you. Damn no. It. Shit. Okay. Wait. What? What? Wait. It's not him. What? Plastic. Plastic water bottle. What? How do plastic? He's like, hi. It's me. I'm a killer. Wait, Pecco. Wait. Why does Pecco? What? You're the only one! Wait, why- why would it be Pekko? Pekko... Is it you? How does- how does Wow the Bottles- hey, What are you 
being quiet. How does Wilder Bottles equate to being a killer? killer? I don't get it. Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm No, there's no fucking way. I remember when There we is were all zero the evidence page. except for the Wilder Bottles. Came to the diner. And she was wet. Because she was swimming. Are you fucking... This is dumb. This is dumb. This is the fucking dumbest. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. This is dumb. This is dumb. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Where are Come on, you bastard? Where is MMO? You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? Means, so motive, really opportunity. Where are no all three of those? Swimming. Cause they are not here. No. I saw her. Huh? After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. And then you sucked her dick. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Means. Oh, motive. Opportunity. Strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? Uh... Stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. <clears throat> so let's like list this out. Fuyahiko. Mahiru so killed fast. his sister. It's he too or, to or helped kill, kill her kill his sister. Helped cover it up. Was able to leave the beach she was killed the exact same way as his sister. Well, now that you mention it, you hide. The roadside door was blocked, and if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints... This is dumb. This is dumb. Then how the fuck did the killer escape? Why is there so much evidence um, why are you all that points you directly to him? The suspect, Becco is. Oh, I'm so angry. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! This is stupid. We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolved. This is dumb. Also, well, also, Pekko has shown time. no predilection to being a fucking crazy to person this whole time. While Teru Teru and Fuyihiko well, certainly fucking did. Method of escaping the beach house. Fucking Teru Teru was in denial and a fucking- escape. and just going and losing his shit. Like, so it makes sense for him to snap and kill someone. Fucking Fuyuhiko is a goddamn Yakuza! I see! If the road She's side the ultimate swordswoman. The only other thing I can think of is. Oh, the thing is, life who doesn't matter after trial, because well, during the trial, when it's supposed really. to be proving that she did it, Except there's no small evidence. There's window in the shower room. There is. There is. Don't you know how high that There is no is? M, there's and no there is no means, motive, it? and opportunity. There is none of those. help from someone she might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders but then that person would have been left behind like a certain fuyahiko is it possible an object was used a rope for instance and what happened to the rope after they used it and don't say something stupid like they threw it outside dodge that's silly and you know it of course not that would violate the school trip rule Littering is not allowed. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. There you go, best girl. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. Oh shit! Chiaki's fucking 
Oh, oh, Chiaki's in there. It away if you can just hide it somewhere on oh. your body. Huh? Nailed it. Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! Why are you like this? No! Please don't be violent! Cease the bully! Oh, the killer used escape out the window. Alright, what do we got? Hangman's Gambit. Oh, shit. Okay. Bamboo Sword? B A M B O O S W O R D. Yeah, it could be Bamboo Sword. Yep, there. Yep, seems to be it. Ah, shit. mean M Why did that explode? I need now I need a B Where's an S? Give me an S. S. God, I just need an R and a D. <laughs> there we go, bamboo sword. I got it. The one she carries with her every everywhere. Oh God. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? But how would she have? How would she have escaped with it? You had it then too. How would she have escaped with it if she was standing on it? Explain, please. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. She wears it everywhere, you- I wouldn't be surprised if she fucking slept with it. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? How would she even do that? Yeah. Peko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped Do you know what a bamboo sword fucking looks like, oh, Hajime? A sword as a step stool? Bullshit! I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! Bullshit! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Yes, but the ninja sword a ninja sword has a <gasps> fucking point on it! Japanese ninja. Fucking mm. Fucking God damn it! God fucking uh, uh. All right, fucking all right. The traditional bamboo sword, fucking god damn it, I hope this is big enough. A traditional bamboo sword looks like this, and it appears to be the same kind of sword that fucking she that she uses. The tip 
is round. That ninja, that ninja trick she mentioned works because you plunge the points into the ground, which gives you leverage. If the point is round, it's not going to stay. That's not how any of this works. Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword. So, no, there I'm wouldn't sure be. They're on, the she's, like they're on tile, remember? Time. Well, Pecco, do you have anything to say? This is stupid. This is not possible. Okay, so this is the same. But, hold on a You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. This is stupid. Fuyuhiko, why do you even care? This is stupid. Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then I, fucking give it to me! I'm actually if she annoyed. Used the bamboo sword as a step stool. It exactly, Fuyahiko did it. Put him in the fucking gas chamber. Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Alright, just fucking... Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! I'll sell your You're fucking organs! Off. You're pissing me off! Bastard. I'll sell your organs. Shut up. Shut All shut right. Up. If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind. Uh, bamboo. What? Got I was listening bastard. to what he was saying. That's obviously impossible. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I was listening Don't to what he was me. saying. Got proof, you bastard. If she used the bamboo, bamboo sword as a sword step bag. stool, it would This is the end! No, I am not! If she Fight used the bamboo you. sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. This is stupid. This is dumb. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. This is so beyond. This is so beyond, window, like, actual believability that it is actually pissing me off. She would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. A rounded oh. edge sword while soaking wet. On tile floor. Sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. This is dumb. Hakane said this she's is like dumb. Ninja. But it would have been. It would have been actually. It would have actually Simply made put, sense. Only Pecco could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate. It would have made woman. sense for it to have been Even Fuyahiko. So, he had the means. He, he had the motive. He had the opportunity. Been but no, it was Pecco because fuck you. No, you fuck you for off. trying to go about this like an actual detective game. Uh, uh, have some uh, fucked uh, up uh, random uh, bullshit. Uh, You're just making assumptions. This is you, dumb. You don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Could have he could have totally framed murder lolly. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be Fuyuhiko would be continue. totally capable of framing murder lolly. Just
Was he not? Like, was he really not? Even then, a Pekka the wasn't the there. The cherry blossom among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? Why are you so this eager to die? And it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. Thank you! Can we please have a fucking motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Also, Nagato could have told him, and probably so would have. That. Remember, Nagato said he'd Let's help. See. If I must answer that question, I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Fucking really? Justice? In order to protect the justice of Really, Pekko? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. Oh my god, she is the shining finger the whole time. What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon. She's the serial the killer. Father and the smiling. Mother. She's actually. Uh, hello, Earth. Day They're actually hello. doing Toko if again. Ever disappeared from this world? The world would immediately freeze, and people's smiles would vanish. This is dumb. I will not allow that. This is dumb. It's, it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop it! Pekko, you so were- So I must fight! Pekko, you were willing to have everyone to here die justice. so you could get away. This is- could she be- As the light of justice This doesn't even make sense. Mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. This justice complete. This doesn't even make sense. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice. Sparkling now justice, then, okay. Let's execute justice. And she speaks in emojis. <laughs> what? What the fuck? I am with Kazuichi for the Henry, first time in my entire doing? life. I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice, I have come to deliver justice. What's going on? What's this? Chill. Uh, 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 Pekko finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. This is dumb. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. But killing someone in this situation leads to She's everyone else to be... dying. But, huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols. The sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. I, I don't get it, but but this is becoming really crazy. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is the dumbest possible thing. This, this is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. This is stupid. I get it, the hey, game wants to be goofy, but not the time for you to be sleeping. This is dumb. Take a look. It's a killer. <sighs> like I don't even care anymore. This is dumb. This again? Yeah, no, again. Sleep talking? It's just genocide Jack all over again. Why did you kill Mahiru? 
This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. I don't think I'm going Evil to play Danganronpa B3. Immediately. <laughs> if it's going, because if this is the no second game, what, I must not. I I hate to imagine Evil? how fucking crazy and stupid liars? the third game's gonna get. If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that. I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Maybe I'll play V3 at some point the then, but you killed my hero if it's was... this dumb, if it is this dumb, then... To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! This is stupid. Echo, is this your true This identity? is stupid. My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. Fucking die. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most Fucking important. Fucking die already. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. This, this is actually causing me to fall to despair. Holy shit. Let's go over this incident one more- Alright, time for the mango. Finish the thought! Stock one! Alright. Killer forged two letters. Went inside the surfboard case, so you can put it to sleep by the killer. Uh, no. Killer forged two letters. Then... First one who found the body... Oh. Well, Yoga left a big piece of evidence. No. Cause it... After he had run away, the killer went inside the surfboard case. What? What? Yoga left a piece of evidence. First one who found the body was... Where should I hide? Oh, there it is. Where did the killer... Oh, this one. Hooray! True face of despair. Whoa, was the, was the plan to... Was the plan to make a really dumb fucking... Make, make it fucking... Uh My hero met. This was on the body. How's it here? Could run away. Good I must do this. This one. There we go. Yeah, Hyoko found it first, yeah. Flavored gummy. Keep a bamboo sword. Ties it to the sword. Okay, so what else? Um, Yoke uh, Mahiru arrives. There we go. 
Last stock. Now time to wash off the blood. There we go. Alright, what else is missing? Yoko left a big piece of evidence, the footprints. There we Here's go. Everything that happened in this case. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Like, this is so dumb. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. So why was However, Fuyuhiko trying to defend her so much, I wonder? The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. Wait, so Hiyoko's a... That item was the letters. They sent fake letters Hiyoko's to both Hiyoko's an Mahiru accomplice, too. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hiyoko received... Hiyoko's an accomplice, to too, so her intent was to get away with this! By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. So she was willing to kill everyone on the islands! No matter their Hiyoko innocence! Totally trusted that letter. Showed no matter whether the they're innocent or not. PM, just like it said. So she's a hypocrite was too! Into unconsciousness by the Doesn't make any the fucking- She's a serial killer that only kills killers! After putting Hiyoko to sleep, then the by killing Mahiru and Hiyoko and Hiyoko, she also winds up killing so frame her as the killer everyone player. else too. And most everybody except Fuyuhiko is innocent. At 2:30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. This is stupid. She was completely unaware. This is stupid. It's out of nowhere. Her. There's barely any evidence that ties her explicitly to it. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a. And she's a hypocrite. Weapon. This is stupid. I'm, I'm the metal bat that angry. was left at the scene of the crime. At how fucking dumb this is. I need to turn off steam though. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that. The killer achieved yeah, their goal exactly of killing Mahiru fun. and began to tamper with the crime scene. I, I didn't say about you, dude. They dragged Mahiru's body you. so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. All right, if you guys want to explain it to me, not really mean, sure I don't why. see any way of you making this something not dumb. similar to a calling card. Stupid. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. Like, we might as well just co co come in they here with no fucking evidence. That were inside the beach house refrigerator. Because nothing we did in the investigation actually fucking works. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of shower, nothing we did the blood off their for the first hour of the trial skin. or the fucking investigation actually. However, affected they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, thank you for the bits, gladiator. Inside the closet, Hyoko was in. 
The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied before him. It's a plot created by the night elves. <laughs> After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, also that to see my hero, who lay dead. There's right no, if there's no, if there's no water, there's no way she would have got all the blood down the drain. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Because Yoko doesn't like oh, your lemon flavor. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used... the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their Sorry. hand. Turn off steam notifications real quick. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. This is silly. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Pekoyama? This is dumb. This is really I dumb. See. And what of it? She's like totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. You tried to get everyone see? killed. I killed Mahiru. Wrong. I punished evil in the name of justice. And tried to kill but everyone no else as well. We can freaking kill this weird, crazy bitch! Uh, for once I agree with Murder Lolly! There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. Monokuma, can you just fucking cap her already? What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. To be honest, the first game's Understand? trials were fucking brilliant compared to this. <laughs> Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry Like, the fucking on first game had, like, one trial that was this bad. And it was on purpose. Alive. You all must give up your lives. Ah! This is dumb. Are you serious? This it's is not dumb. Serious. It's justice! Kill her. If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now! Follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice. So Sonya, how is it to meet your hero? Justice. Give me a break. Who's gonna die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed. For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. You fucking hypocrite! <laughs> a few sacrifices? You it's fucking bad. hypocrite! Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand 
her anymore. Let's vote already. And Put a gun her. in her mouth and pull the trigger. However, before blow we do the that, best part of her against the cool fucking wall the at the back of her head. Hurry up and let us vote already. I'm awake. Ah, he finally woke up. I've heard your story. Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? I don't. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Fucking, <laughs> fucking Such Yuri, like, excitement. like once, once we hit the save point here, I'm gonna get in voice chat and you're going to defend this. Because, fuck me, I don't see how this is defensible. Like, holy shit. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Pardon me, can we please have a little more time? Oh, fuck off, Sonya. Um, pardon me, can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. How about we don't? Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Fucking throw Sonya in there with her. Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pekko is the killer. That is true. Like, I don't even know why we bother with the investigations As a anymore. killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Pekko is really sparkling justice, am I right? What does it matter whether she's actually hey, sparkling so justice or not? Killer enthusiast? She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. What does it what does it Honestly, matter whether she's the real one or not? Too. I mean there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petco, right? Uh, oh god, I don't care. You know. Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Ah. Oh uh, yeah, she was, she was quoting the, she was quoting the thing. Oh boy. There'll be one person just who has been sparkling justice. The article written in the native language, so I try translating it. Okay. It was in a different language. Gen nationality. I see. That's right. According to what Sonia said, it was in the journalist's language. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate. Yeah, it. the journalist's native language. If she had it translated, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Sparkling justice can be anyone. It just <laughs> has to speak the same language yes, as the fucking. The magazine I read was written in Spanish. So. Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. And? Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... Or Sparkling Justice just speaks Spanish. <laughs> what? This is so pedantic. This is just pedantry. Pecco, you're not sparkling justice. There's no way that's possible. Unless she speaks Spanish. Or, if you insist that you're sparkling justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? What does it matter if she's actually sparkling justice or not? Hmm. It appears that... The time has come for this mask to come off. Did Fuyahiko pay her to do it? However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And 
Even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. Did Fuyuhiko pay her to do it? My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Fuyuhiko paid you to do uh -huh. it. Huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Please explain. Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Buyahiko paid you to do it, right? Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her Fuyuhiko then? paid her to do it. <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Through the swamp for the scene of the crime? The body discovery announcement. Hey, Stout Zoo! Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean. So that's what he was getting at. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And not in including the killer. Case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... Uh, me getting very, very angry. That leaves us one person short. And that person is so Fuyo Hiko! So there's one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Or are you lying to us, yes. Pekko? From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Oh my god, this is getting silly now. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Select someone! Fucking from the start. You're the only one! Is it Fuyuhiko? I see. Behold now the I power the of my stand! The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? I just spilled it down There's myself. There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game that like was that a very angry a drink? Strong motive? That was a very angry drink. <laughs> now that uh... overwhelming proof. Oh shit! What is it? Is there overwhelming proof of that too. Oh god! I wasn't paying attention. Shit. I can prove it with this. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder. It's proof but... the game was real, the photos, yeah. There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. <laughs> <laughs> Awaken my masters! The photos for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. It's Photoshop. They're all actual photos. With the surrounding scenery cropped out. It's photoshopped. Oh no. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko. Didn't you? Just fucking drop kick this fucking You knew whether or not the first bastard. victim in the game was actually your little sister. Right? Oh yeah, I mean, who I would he not recognize his little sister? The game first, the ending Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> 
Oh, uh, yeah. He had it. So I was right from the beginning. I was right from the beginning, and it was him. But we just had to waste time, didn't we? It was the envelope, right? We just had to waste Christ. time. It was you, wasn't it? So, okay, so I buy Danganronpa 1's rule, Shuyuhiko is, is, uh, is responsible. Body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. So, but we've already cast our vote, so, so we're all, we're all dead. Unless truth. he lets us vote That's again, we're all dead. To Mahiru to confirm it. Hey, why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Because Peko is the killer, right? No, but... But we already voted... That's why I told Cut, you. Yeah, it, yeah, it is! It, yeah, it is! It is just a shittier version of the Celeste case. I exist as nothing more than a tool. And even if she I sticks no around, then that's just another kill. person that we have no to fucking to lock in the sexnasium. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as Like, I we just have tool, to chain her up and lock I her in the sexnasium next to Nagato. Hey, no, no, by game one, on? by the first game's rules, the person who planned the Please. murder is the Blackened. I'm not the killer. The true killer, who used me as their weapon to kill yeah, Mahiru Yeah, so we're dead. Koizumi. We are dead With now. With Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? N Nani? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. The rules no. are dumb. I have no aim. But it's the same rule set, though. But my young master does. My young master planned what, this What, are you from part the of the Yakuza now? Young master? The Yakuza? You a Yakuza? That is the truth. Fuyuhiko, you, 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 uh, sure you realize it by did now. you, did you hire her to be part of the Yakuza? You cannot. You're gonna cut off a pinky finger? That's a problem. Kill them both. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. Kill them both. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! Yeah, just, you know what, just... Uh, how would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. I mean, by the first game's the rules, Fuyuhiko got away All with murder. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? Yeah, you you would just lock him in the sexnasium, yeah. Like, I mean, and even then, like, it doesn't make any... I mean, even then, like... Oh, God. It's just this again. See, it better be explained. Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, Alright. Hmm. Although there's some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiru Koizumi is... Nani. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, I'm oh, sorry. I'm just hesitating. Hey! There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Peck goes the. G I'm the killer. It's time for another quick mystery. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hang on. I ran over my wire again. Eh. No! Cease! How are you looking at it? Peck goes the killer. <laughs> Why? Stinky boy. Hey, hey! Wh why? <laughs> well, it's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a friggin' human being. My people are very good at determining who is human and who is not, Skazuichi. The Germans. Well... It was a catchy! Son of a bitch! If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who exist who be tools. People such as myself. I can't drive my chair. Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? <sighs> Beko and I grew up together. Um. Right next to my dad, Jimmy Hashido. So are you two childhood friends then? No. No, it's a completely different than that. 
Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzer Yuru clan took me in. They gave me a reason to exist. I need to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. Slavery! Yay! What? Property, you say? Damn, not here! It means she's a hitman and arranged my clan to work directly under me, Jimmy Hashido. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. <gasps> Look at that one in the top right! Why is that so funny? Why is that so funny? Look at the one in the top fucking right. Why is it so funny? Why is it say- I, The more I look at it, the more stuff I find that's funny. <laughs> that is my only reason for living. Before I hey, yo, it's me, Jimmy Hoshido. Hey, I'm gonna adopt this baby and give it to my kid. Foremost. Here you go, baby, have a katana! Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. Now you use this katana to protect my kid, okay? I can't be bothered. I'm off to run the Yoshi. I'm off to run the Hoshido... The Hoshido clan. It's me, Jimmy Hoshido. Uh, because if you are a tool, then what was all that time we spent together? Now, I know in Europe we're a little bit more open to the lesbianism. But still. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's how Jimmy gets out of clan disputes. Like, all right, all right. Now I know, I done shorted you on the deal. But, like, he just fucking smacks the back of his car. The trunk opens. But I got, I got the new, I got the new manga issues of Naruto here. I'll give them to you half off if you call off the blood view. Look, see in this one, Kakashi dies. Don't you want to know how that happened? There you go. There you go, Patriarch. Hey, yo, if you want to, if you want to get your manga the day of release, just call over to me, Jimmy Hashido, sit at the back of my back of my car. Nothing. Huh? Oh shit! <laughs> I was ordered. I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. Nami! Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students. Now, I fucking ran over my wire again. Hey, yo, it's me, Jimmy Hashido, running over the wires. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you're hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told us to hide- told me to hide our relationship. My young master loads relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing no matter but what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for the killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. The, the one who tried to kill Mahiro wasn't you, it was Fuyahiko? Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I beat the game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Every time I see them, it makes me laugh. How did my how did their eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Ibuki's head? Oh man, it's great. Damn it! Damn I don't understand! Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with and she's me. covered in blood, man! What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You... 
You tried to confirm with Mahiru, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... Same thing happens every time Jimmy tries to speak to the girls. They just avoid him. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why even if we were told that we were connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... Like, you know, when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, like, she mentioned something about this. Oh, oh no. Uh, so I, like, actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh, my mom! Wait, huh? Like, you're not gonna go, Mahiru? <laughs> Hi, Seaborg. You know what's happening? We're, we're, we're just talking shit. Jimmy Kuziyuru got disowned by his clan, started his own as Hashido, sold some bootleg shit from a van he stole from Naoto, <laughs> and sold weapons to Joker as the ex-Yakuza shop owner with a fake name, and then started his own clan. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, the lore of Jimmy Hashido grows! Uh, oh, uh, oh, it's pretty important, so you know, it'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? Like, you sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I want to think... I wanted someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? You know, you know what'll make amends with a Yakuza? Cutting off a pinky. The whole tr the whole point of the trial was to grow the lore of Jimmy Hashido, the legend. Let's like that sounds definitely serious. Like I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> nah, nah, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell him I'm not feeling well. Blood don't have to be today. There's always tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. <laughs> like, I should have gone too. But... Yeah, you- yeah, you did. You did say it. Hey, P5. It was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhiko? <laughs> if you could make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiru into a trap, right? Hey. By calling of both of them to the beach house, you're able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the? Seriously, what the heck? <laughs> Kaoru is for Yuhiko. Oh shit, yes. An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason the happened was because some person here. Damn it. I had no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... And so, my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as a murder weapon, because in the game, that's what was used to kill Gurley. My revenge. Clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it's the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed Mahiru with the bat? <sighs> but still, I believed her until the very last minute, that the game was the work of fiction. Bit of Kobakaya, god damn it. But so that bitch! Hey. Hey, that game is actually real. Are you the one who killed Girly? Why, you. Hey, I don't want to hear about that! But. The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but. Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl! Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me! What would you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that! Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes, except for Jesus. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over my hero, I was still trying to find an excuse not to go through with the plan. <sighs> but after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the middle bed that I hid under the bed. What, what is this voice I'm doing? This ain't Jimmy Hashido. This is a slightly different one. 
Hey yo, it's me. There we go. I got really pissed off and grabbed the middle bat that hit under the bench. But at that moment, <laughs> young master called for me and made me kill my hero. She's just saying that and she's like, oh yes, I remember. Oh, I touched myself to it that very night, yes. Huh? Where? Wait, you know what? Where? You know, we just need Mondo. Everyone needs a Mondo. Huh? Young master, I am finished. Everyone needs a Mondo in their life. He's just like, oh shit, murder happened! Oh, yo! Sick shit! You, are you saying you killed her because you were ordered to? <laughs> the tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. <laughs> like, I don't get this, like, at all. Of course! Well, of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing are different. It's, it's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand, it pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> After Vud, just my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the evidence of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be. You insisted you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our votes? So we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. <laughs> That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously Hold wrong. on, don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling. I admit, all this talk about Pekka being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach him at various angles, it makes sense if Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. Like the rules I was using the last game. I see. I see, so for Peko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope then. <laughs> On his behalf, you killed my hero. And now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. <laughs> Great! You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just... <laughs> a tool? Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. <laughs> now then. Uh, no. Junko is kind of a fucking idiot. So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? <laughs> huh? About what? Hey. Is Peko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us? Is that your hope? What? Hold on. Hold on. What is the use of asking something like that? What? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Peko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf, the fact that she lied to us by acting like a killer, those are all things you ordered her to do? Is that truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I know you hate our guts, but... Huh? You listen to Pekka, we're all gonna die! <sighs> I... 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 Yeah. Young master... Young master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders, you just have to tell them that. I... Oh, man. Fuyuhiko, tell the truth, though. You mentioned this before, but... Hey, yo. In this kind of situation, interacting with others is just gonna shot in your lifespan. Those idiots, Biaki and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. No, no, no. You're, you're still saying that. Cause I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. So I can just go back to selling manga at the back of my at the back of my vein. Shonko is a true head. Alan, why why do you just insist on being contrarian? You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <clears throat> oh shit. Young master. 
master! Th there's no need to hesitate, young master. Please, just tell them the truth. Young master, you was the one who ordered me. I just did as I told because I'm a tool. Hmm. For Yehiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose Pico, but... Hey. If you insist you're the killer just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pico and fight alongside us against this spear? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! Ay ay ay! Say ay ay! Young master, I am finished. You... What the hell did you do? He is not a true gang star. He has not awakened Gold Experience Requiem. Y you already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. Probably, yeah. There's no way I can let that happen to you. <sighs> hey, Pekko. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Yeah, except that doesn't work for you, you need Nico. To run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm wow, he was trying to, to do something me. nice and she's like, no, fuck you. There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master. Why would he tool. care, anyway? A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Because she's been brainwashed, you stupid cunt. Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Th then, why did you... Because, plan. murder. Huh? A plan? Please, do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely. But home. you'll be dead, Pekko, you dingus. You idiot. What do you intend you to do? You fucking I dingus. I fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go. Kyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry. This is dumb. Damn it. This is dumb, I hate this. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! Why do I get the feeling there's like a ton of fan art of the two of them like being in love or fucking or something? Like, why do I like why do I why do I feel like that is a thing? That that you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, you know what? Hang on, um, Fuyuhiko X Pekko. Yeah, first result. Yeah, there is a, there's a lot of these. There is a lot of these. And a lot of these are actually very, fairly, like, these are tame as well. Hang on, let me just fucking throw this up here. Fa they're fan art of him plus murder lolly. I mean, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. That that one there is cute. That that is cute. That one there. No, safe search is on. Safe search is on. <laughs> yeah, they, these are, these are, these are fucking cute as hell. Oh, and someone made what their kid would be. Ah. Some of these are actually pretty cute. I like that. That's cute. Hi. What are you doing? I mean, hopefully enjoying the stream. Hopefully. Sorry. Like I'm sorry, Pico. Guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master. I mean, like Sea Boy, like, it, like it's, do you do you not like the stream or something? I don't know. Please enjoy. 
Please understand. <laughs> I'm a disgrace. Because if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. I mean, I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted for myself. Echo. Oh. You like it, but you're really confused. I mean... Eh. And if I admit that, it means you're really just a tool to me. How many times I tell you, I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuza Ryu clan. The young master. I'm a member of the Hoshido clan. Uh oh. Oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad. Hey, I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Wait, so Monokuma's actually changing the rules again? Hey. Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew what Peko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now, I mean, why you you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? <laughs> Man. Man, even if it was an act of desperation, Peko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> Ooh, you were actually the first to try and influence the outcome of a trial like that. <laughs> but too bad, you're definitely the killer. Peko, the tool with the heart, is the killer. Well, well, no, he wanted to kill her. He wanted to kill her. Right? Like, he wanted her dead. So, I'm confused. And Peko just went through with it. I, I'm confuzzled. Sorry. Peko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though all, you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I, Jimmy Hashido. I had a feeling it would turn out like this. You are always a disappointment. Huh? He never ordered her to. Young master. Young master, you have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Th then why? Even so. Even so, I wanted you I wanted to escape. To... I wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side to the very end, young master. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> and I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. Hey, yo, it's me, Jimmy Hashido, selling non bootleg doujins in the trash memo sanctuary. Who wants to see Naruto X Sakura? Who wants to see Naruto X Sasuke? I got all the doujins right here. Who wants to see some real fucked up shit? Who wants to see the doujin of Izuku of Izuku X Naruto? I got that too, probably. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this da -da -da. ever again. The salt is everywhere. Oh. That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you just put the gun in my mouth already? I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to- We just proved you weren't a tool. So cool! Joker X Morgana, Dojins! <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's got. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make this one final selfish request. So... Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. These... These stonking great titties and just... Pfft. The tool, Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. He's like, I'll remember you always, Peko. Uh, and then just he gets back to his cottage and he's just like, well, I got it. Another one went down. Another one went down. All right. And he just reaches into his closet and is like another Peko, like in fucking like Barbie in like a giant Barbie box. He just cut rips the plastic and she's there. <laughs>
How many times do I have to keep the yeah, I don't need any tools? <sighs> it's like that... <laughs> it's like the Morty store in Rick and Morty. Like where like, Ricks just go to the store and there's this fucking Morty's pressed in plastic. Uh, it's time for Red Alright, killer dead. Now then, killer I dead. I. I never needed a tool. So. You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just. You just needed to be yourself. Yeah, it's a damn shame she wasn't able to. I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Oh! Only oh, you. so they did love each other. Oh, shit! Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids. Let's go! It's punishment time! 10 out of 10. Please, Pecco. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young I mean, yeah, the trial is still dumb. Young master. Now kiss! <laughs> 10 out of 10, Pecco, you fucking dingus. Oh, look, it's the great wave of Yokohama. Hey, at least he gave her a sword to defend herself with. Oh no, she can't actually defend herself. She's being puppeteered. I mean, why not just... I mean, why... What's with this, what's with this marionette bit? Oh, he's trying to save her! He's trying to save her! Holy shit! Is that a double? Is that a two for one? Is Fuyuhiko gone too? Is that a two for one special? That is impossible. Oh my fucking god, two for one! You know what? As dumb as that trial was and how overly long that was for the for the result, fuck it. That was fine. That that with that the end saved it. The end saved it. Such a waste. You know what? Yuri, you no longer have to defend this. You no longer have to defend it. It's clues, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with me. Damn it. It's supposed to be a clash between two hopes, but it's crushed something so unpalatable. Oh. You're still talking about that? God, shut your mouth! You. The hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissing to your- Fuck. That's the wrong voice. Shit. Hey yo, it's me, Jimmy Hoshido. I'm taking over Akane's voice box now. <laughs> Well, it's not my fault though, like, the entire time, just... Like, it's like, Danganronpa 1's later trials had this exact same problem, but it was like, the last two trials had this problem, where just... Things just, were just randomly, like, just thrown out of nowhere, and just, the investigation meant nothing. Both of these two beginning trials have that problem. Which is an issue, you know? What the hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? Such despair. I am pissed. I even feel sad and hopeless. 
But still, isn't that right? It's gonna be all right. This despair is worthless. <laughs> Even this despair is a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the beautiful, the brighter we shine. There's the unmistakable truth. Hmm. What's what's the goddamn it, Yuri? What's up? Did I say something wrong, or did someone in chat say something? I'm confused. Yeah, kind of. The investigation doesn't mean really mean anything. Calling me a ladder, huh? You say some pretty interesting things. Oh, a okay, just ignore Alan Darth. <laughs> Honestly, Alan Darth Alan Darth likes night elves. Alan Darth likes night elves. I uh, he's a contrarian. Hey, Malador! It's been ages, dude. Welcome back to welcome back to the Strem. <laughs> In a way, your misguided thoughts of what hope should be reminds me of him. Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. Maybe I should make a declaration of independence. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> the hopes of all the Ultimates here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. Don't think this game is good because it turns out bad for you, you're gonna get pretty angry. Well, I mean, already I feel like this is inferior to, to Trigger Happy Havoc. Like, Trigger Happy Havoc was a, was a better game, in my opinion. Ah, yes. Makoto Nagi. That's a name I haven't heard in a long, long time. There won't be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. He's- Oh god, he's activating my stand! How much longer are you planning to say stupid shit, Nagato? Don't you understand? Even Fuyahiko died! Not yet. He's still alive! What? <laughs> Nani! Everyone! Fuyahiko is still alive! You serious? Fuyahiko! Snake? Snake? Snake! Christ! Christ! He fucking got got. I don't think there's a person who's gotten who's gotten more got than that before. He, he, he's still he, he's still breathing. Hold on, Mateo. Hold on. You know what's better than being dead? Being crippled. Cause hey. If your enemy's dead, they can't get in your way, but you also can't lord your your victory over them, right? But, if you cripple your enemy, not only can they no longer fight back, but also you can rub it in their fucking face for every single day of their remaining- of their remaining years. So really, really we all just come out ahead. Or disfigured, same thing. Yeah. Is he gonna be okay? Is he gonna be okay, Hajime said, when he stomped on his fucking ankles? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! I'm trying! But his blood, he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Quick, Chiaki, hack the blood back into his Can't body! Can't do anything about it? God damn it! Oh god. Oh yeah, the underlay doesn't work super great. Stupid. Were you thought of, filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? That's why you ended up like that. You stupid brother! Why are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him! I don't believe it! A surprise order? What the heck? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? That's wrong! It's your duty to save him! Huh? Duty? Hey, hey! Because it's written in the school trip rules! If the black can expose if the black can expose your entire only they'll be executed. Only Oh shit! <laughs> well if I could I would do something about it right now, but since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey. But you should be able to do it, because this is a simulation. Unbelievable. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I'll have to hack the blood back into his body. Because fine, we're in a simulation. Fine. I'll save him. Lies. I was actually gonna do that all along, so I've already prepared for this. <laughs> Siren began ringing from out of nowhere, and gradually grew closer and closer. Oh, uh, 
an ambulance? Oh no! It's the true hero or part four of JoJo. Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. <laughs> Dr. Killgood. Dr. Killgood, you've already killed your patients. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat. Oh god, Seabor. Seabor, you need to you need to get into the fucking Discord and just go into the spoiler chat that I'm not allowed in. Because Gladiator already posted um my prediction for how this game is gonna end. <laughs> And I'm wondering how correct I am. I don't want to be told if I'm correct or not, but... So, I'll see you later! You know, I might, I, I might just read it. Because we're coming towards the end of the stream anyway. We've only got ten minutes left. After we said that, an ambulance containing Monokuma Fihiko vanished from our sight. Where is he? We're inside a mountain. Oh, um, is it really going to be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. Can't be helped, it's not like there's any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine, he's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> like, you're right, he's definitely gonna come back and take a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Mm. I'll hold on to my wizard membership card. Uh, no. My stand, my stand has activated. I know how this is gonna go, God damn it! my prediction powers are going. All we can do is wait. Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused Mahiru's death, you know! However... However, we must put that aside since Peke has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Why don't we just lock him in the sexnasia with Nagato when he comes back? Fall, my tears. There are no... There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way to move forward, like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> D damn it! Just lock him in the sexnasia when he comes back. Didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuya Hiko! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. So to be fair though, I wonder if Fuya Hiko hadn't gotten in the way, and and Peko was just left to her own devices, could she have just survived? Could she have just, like, if, if he, he hadn't gotten in the way and, and, and made her fucking lose her nerve, could she have fought her way out? I wonder. And so, the class trial ended. We still can't see the real ending that we want yet! We finally arrived. It will happen to us by then. No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably in a vast, dark sea. We were just left there alone. Yeah, probably. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. And it ticks down again. Fifteen days left! Oh boy! That's not terrifying at all. What is this thing? You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown, too? Yes, please explain what it is, Monami. Four people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope, and which is despair? No, I, just, I just want Alter Ego to fucking just hologram in, and Chihiro's like... I don't fucking know. Honestly, this whole Monokuma virus thing is stupid. I'm just gonna shut down the simulation. Hang on. Alt F4. But, I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair and the continuation of the biggest, most most tragic event in human history! Th that cannot be allowed! We must prevent that by any means necessary! Even if, 
we have to pay the Hey, no, price. no. Patrick, Patrick Boivon's stand is crazy talk. My one is, my one is called God Prophecy, thank you. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Alright. Alright, let's save. Sea and punishment, sin and coconuts. Alright. Oh boy. Dang and Rampa. Alright, we've got five minutes left. Hey, got the sword. The Black Dragon Braid. What's my ultimate? <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, my stand was named by the Chinese. It must be true. Um, I am the ultimate. I am the ultimate fortune teller, I guess. Hey, right, hang. Let me let me read. Let me just scroll up to like the other day. Oh God damn it! Who named themselves Jimmy Hishido? Who fucking named themselves Jimmy Hishido? God damn it, Gladiator! <laughs> Oh, man. The ultimate salt. Oh, alright, hang on. Um. Uh. Okay, hang on. I just control F last on Sunday. I Okay, on Sunday I typed this. Um, the island takes place... Sorry, the, I the events on the island take place inside a VR world slash simulation that, I'm gonna say Makoto and company, develop after the events of the first game. Alter Ego controls it from inside using Monami. As Alter Ego doesn't really have much else to go on as far as how Hope's Peak works, it's also kind of a fuck you to Junko slash Monokuma. Chiaki is developed as an artificial intelligence guide who believes herself to be human, or at the very least sees herself as human. She also sees Chihiro as her father, hence what she says in her social link. Because I had just completed her social link. By the way, don't tell me if any of this is correct. Um, I'm just saying it in headlines. At some point, Alter Ego triggers a trap set by Junko, or perhaps it just happens on a timer, that injects a viral AI into the simulation that takes the form of Monokuma slash Junko Enoshima. The AI takes over the simulation and beats Alter Ego into submission by totally depowering his main form of influence in the world, Usami, and corrupting it to turn it into Monami. The game will proceed and lead to Chiaki discovering her birthright as heir to Chiero's GODLY MIGHT! Honestly, it might just be a rehash of Kyoko's story arc, and whether it kills her or not, it'll be the thing that gives Hajime the means to defeat Monokuma.exe and escape the simulation to anyone that, that survives. Those of you that have played the game may now go into spoiler chat to either laugh at me or freak out about how right I am. Oh, and they also sent Byaki in as a sleeper agent to keep things under control initially, as they weren't sure if Alter Ego could be trusted and control the human aspect of it, namely the people themselves. Which is why Monokuma influ influenced him being off first, so he could fuck with them better. Hey yo, it's me, Jimmy Hoshido. So that's so that's my prediction. It is it is uh, pinned to spoiler chat. So if any of you join the Discord, I, I by the way, I'm not allowed in the spoiler chat. So anything said in there is is outside of my purview. So so that is pinned in there, and we will find out at the end of this game how correct I am. No one's here, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I still think I'm right. I still think I'm right. Because God Prophecy hasn't been wrong yet. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! 
Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Even when, even when my stand is wrong, it is proven correct. At the start, at the start, I even said, oh, Fuyuhiko did it because he has the most reason to do it. And then they threw that fucking bamboozle with Pekko in, and I'm like, no, fuck you, that makes no sense. And then it was Fuyuhiko anyway, it's just they fucking tried to, it's just they fucking wanted to keep him around for some reason. Hang on, I... My camera is in the wrong place. There we go. Morning, huh? In the end, I was sorry about Fuyuhiko, but I couldn't sleep. He dead. That boy dead. Involving him in Pekko's execution like that, suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? Was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Oh, he dead. Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But the worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right, just- JUST DO IT! I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. Yeah, he- he killed Pekko, yeah. She probably would have survived. Your stand is Jimmy Hashido. Hey yo, it's me, I'm your stand. How you doing? It's me, Jimmy Hashido. Alright, so, um, we're just about at the end of the stream, but let's go see if, uh, he's alive. I have been wrong before. Do I rebut? Yes, I rebut! I have never been wrong! Even when I am wrong, I am correct! I will just not watch that video. Chiaki, hi! Good morning, Chiaki. How you doing, girl? Best girl. Hey. Oh yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Mm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have the slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Now she's trying to keep her sadness from showing up by being completely focused on gaming. Or is it just me? Oh, hi. I'm just hacking the mainframe. Hey, murder lolly! Ah, Hajime! You're already here? Yoko, you're the only one here. Why are you acting so anxious? Huh. I'm not acting anxious, I just happen to be awake by coincidence, so I... I just came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? Huh. Hmm. Everyone should be arriving soon. I should wait here for a while. Mm. I have several questions. Are you guys seeing this fucking satanic altar? Why... Why are we worshipping Satan now? A panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiru take these photos? But what's with the fucking... What's with the Satan? EXPLAIN YOURSELF, MURDALALI! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration! Um... Satan is the lolly. Oh no! Well, what if hell is a simulation? I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it! <laughs> ah, Mayuru's gonna be happy too! I don't know who did this, and we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hiyoko, did you... Uh, hello? Oh, good morning, it's so rare to run into you two here. Uh, what are you looking at? Huh? <coughs> ah, what are those horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. <coughs> Yo, what happened? You? What's up, what's up? Is it bro? Huh? 
Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Huh? No photos? Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Hey, 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 hey! Are we going to summon Maharu's soul? Mm. Oh, this is clearly an insult against Maharu. Damn it. I don't know who did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. Uh, this is too much. You actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. <laughs> everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! Like, good mongrel! <laughs> Something like this. There is no excuse! This is so terrible! How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey! I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst! Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it! Nami the fuck. Hmm? You're right, there's no way Mahiru will be happy with this! <laughs> she won't just be unhappy! She'll be so angry, she'll cry tears of blood! Huh? Man, who the hell did this? No! No! We'll have to search for the criminal later, in the meantime! Fool! Fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana! Seriously, this is... Hold it! You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it! Oh my god, he's a- oh god, that means- doesn't that mean that Jimmy's a dragon? Doesn't that mean, that mean Jimmy's part dragon? Uh, Morn Mahiru? What the heck? I'm sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure we've made this totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I just think it's a little clumsy. See? <laughs> Legit enough. Why don't we take a closer look at the intent behind a folks- be, uh, Intent instead of focusing on appearances. Perhaps... Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru is not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. She's probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think... Yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You... Jimmy is the Alpha and Omega. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> Huh? It cannot be. Um, was the person who made this? <laughs> Mahiru was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> she was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahiru is probably lonely by herself. So I won't tell her she's not alone, even if she's in heaven or hell. <laughs> uh, Hiyoko, you! <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but once I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, go Manusai! I am sorry! Oh god, y'all are mean! Y'all are just mean to the murder lolly! <laughs> sorry, Yoko! Uh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry! Well... Oh no... <laughs> For now... So what's with the skulls? No! No, it should come with us when we get off this island too! It'd be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos! The skulls I could do without. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it! You. <laughs> Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine, I'll forgive you all, except me can, of course. Oh, why? Why are you so strict with me? I see. Like, I man, see. it's so unexpected. Like, I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that, B -b -b baka <laughs> Japan is made of lolicons. Hyoko has a very kind heart when she's not committing animal p torture. That's not it! <laughs> oh, come on, it's not like that! Jeez, stop it already! So, Hyoko, where did you get the skulls? Oh, I 
murdered all the cows at the ranch with my bare hands? <laughs> ah, you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Susie, stop it! Don't tease me! <laughs> oh, Hiyoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you pig-faced troll! Why only me? <laughs> At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys settle things like this. Really? Feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. You over, you blow everything out of proportion and then you fucking ch tone it down. Well. Uh, baby metal is safe for work. It's... Hang on, I'll do it. I'll do it. Th this is baby metal. Oh, shit. This is baby metal. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of gothic lolitas that sing metal. And ironically enough... According to Rob Zombie himself, they are the most metal. Th they are the most metal thing in modern metal. Rob Zombie himself went to meet them, and went. This is the first real metal band that I have met in a decade. And to be honest, I can't disagree. Because most modern day metal sucks dick. Folk metal notwithstanding. Folk metal folk metal is, is is still metal. So between baby metal and folk metal, metal is dead. Um little Little by little, we're starting to understand and find the good in each other. That's the real reason we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Yep. Yep, you guys are all splendid. Most metal sucks. God damn it, Matteo. Yeah. Like, I don't mind baby metal. I really don't. God damn it. Um, I don't really mind baby metal. It's not my favorite music, but it's not bad. M regular metal sounds like shit. Death metal is crap. Folk metal is, is, is good. Folk metal is good. Beyond that, though, not much. This body hmm. is uncooperative. I have arrived! Apologies for the wait! What? What the? What is this object that's really such a foul aura? Impossible! Hmm. A malice clings to Mairu even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it! You're the worst! Oh. Oh, you poor, sweet summer children. Wow, Nagato, you fucking cunt. I'll destroy you! No debt, no gladiator. Gladiator, you are literally being principal children. Principal children. Principal Skinner right now. Am I, am I mistaken? Am I out of touch? No. It is the children that are wrong. I'm of the I'm I'm going to I'm going to activate my stand right now and I'm going to say Kyoko will not be a killer. I could totally see her getting killed though. Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Ah, uh, looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing all I could do was sigh. Where is Fuyuhiko at? Where's Fuyuhiko? We didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be. You know, we're finally bonding. A situation is brewing, like a huge fracture running between us all. Why do I say that? Because it would be too obvious. It would be too obvious for her to be a killer. Because even though she does like to kill kill bugs and shit and be kind of like a cunt, I don't think it's within her nature to kill. I feel like she's one of those people that talks a big game but can't actually do anything about it. Aurora Borealis! At this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within this island. Yes. 
May I see it? No. Well, Hajime, you're an odd fellow, but I must say, you steam a good ham. She has to grow up first, exactly. Not just for me, for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Where's Free Hiko at? Chapter 3 Trapped by the Ocean Scent. <laughs> hey. Alright, so is there. Yo! I never get worried. <laughs> what about Fuyihiko? Um. Is he gonna be okay? Is he gonna. If he doesn't show up in the next, like. I'm gonna say five minutes, I'm gonna end the stream. I was so concerned. I couldn't sleep all night last <clears throat> night. Plus, this fight is Monokuma's paws, and even more concerned. <laughs> well, we gotta tend to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. <sighs> I don't think you guys should worry about it. You. Right. Now I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set! And the blonde in the pick looks the same. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. So, leave the rest of me. I'll oh, question Monokuma and avenge Ryuhiko. That's obviously wrong. He's not dead yet. Sheesh. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Hello. Can I have your attention, please? Me oh, it's you, Monomi. What do you want? Jeez! Man, the fun mood's over now thanks to you. Huh? Uh, did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop Wait, it. no, I don't want to be treated like an outsider! So what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um... Oh, you finally asked me. Hey! I once again have to defeat another Monobeast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeat the Mono Beast, that means... Ding, ding, ding. That's right, you now visit yet another island. <laughs> Let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thing about leaving this island. Blah, blah. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. New island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, it's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Could, could it be? Are you guys about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm? Ah, uh, Fuyuhiko? Oh, he's dead. Um... I'm see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Oh, great. You fiend. Hey! Alright, so... Hey! Huh? Great opportunity, Shane, you finally filled us in! <gasps> okay, see, so where, where is he? Hold on a sec! Well... Alright. <laughs> Especially New Island, what should we do? However... I don't think we should be exploring what Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. We must move forward no matter what sphere stands in our way. So what happens, that's what hope should be. If Monami lost her power, how did she defeat a giant fucking robot? By, yeah, by punching it. I mean, we do, I mean, we do have those mini-games to tell us how she defeated them, so we can easily just go find out, like, right now. What hope you always say that just before you lead us into a trap? There's something wrong with it you. Hey, hey. Also, I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko. Is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Is it better if we do what we can? Yeah, we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm, you are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> Alright, so he's not going right. to be back for a Wait. bit, is he? Leave it to me! Hold on! I'm wondering if Akane and, <laughs> and Nekotaru could beat up a mono beast. I, I will after. Going to the island before the stream ends. No, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it until this until next stream. I'm going to save it. Because that way I have the entire stream to look at it. After all that, it feels like we're doing exactly what Nagato wants. In order to prepare for exploring New Island, we left the restaurant. Alright, let's go ahead and save. You just fall on it and die. God damn it. Alright, um, let's go back to the main menu. Dang and Rampa. Let's see how much. Let, let's. I don't know how long this is. Let's see how she how she fights. Magical Miracle Girl of Monami. Alright. Stage one. Telling me to stain my hands? Okay, how does this work? 
How do I fight? Oh, I gotta jump on him. Okay, this isn't how this works. How do I fight? Okay, how do I... How do I do this? All I can do is jump on them. I circle them? What do you mean, circle them? What is, what is the controls? Move, jump, run, draw. Okay, world tag after jumping. Shift key. All right, so I jump on them and then I go. I I circle them. Jesus! Alright, so that's... That's violent! So just make a circle. Now I imagine it gets in, just jumping on them is just good to stun, so I can... Oh shit, I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh no. I, I got it now. I got it now. All right, so so apparently this is how she beats the mono beasts. So so she doesn't even really need her staff. She just uses stick. Hey, accelerator, what's up, man? Is there a how many waves is this? Oh, you can get presents this way. Barbed wire bat. I wonder who that'd be a gift for. Okay, so this is another way to get presents. Which is good. That's good, I appreciate that. How many, how many waves? Four to six. Like 10 to 15, oh shit. Sometimes it gets super long. I just want to complete one... I, I just want to complete one level. Man, those blue guys with the ranged attack. Holy shit. Alright. Hooray! I can't... Come on. There we go. What wave is this? Wave 7.
This isn't this isn't a bad mini game, to be honest. I could play I could I could play this. Expand it a bit, you'd probably make this like an indie game on Steam or something. I I killed that tree. Final wave! Oh, okay, so this is how she kills the mono beasts. Not quite by punching it. Jesus. Yeah, the mono beast I gotta jump on. Oh, for fuck's sake. If it gets too close to the edge, I can't do nothing. I jump on the mono beast, then I should be able to... Get away from the edge, you fuck! It just keeps it just keeps hiding near the edges so I can't circle it. Fucking bastard thing. And the hitbox for it is really awkward too. God damn it. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm trying to stomp on it, and I can't. There we go. Wait, what? What? God! I imagine it's probably be easier with the controller if my controller's not working. How many times do I need to jump on it to stun it? There we go. Oh my god. How many times do I have to circle you? Just die! Shine! Shine! Shine on you crazy diamond! I'm dead. Alright, well, regardless, now we know how she beat them. She was lying about being powerless without her stick. She still has powers, they're just more limited. But, whatever. Now we know. Now we know how she did it. So, hey. Now we know. Anyway. You guys see your current progress. Yeah, alright then. Uh, anyway, everybody, so I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, those of you watching live and those of you watching on the VOD, if you are watching on the VOD, then hey, feel free to swing on by at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day um, for a stream. Tomorrow, uh, we're gonna be streaming uh, Persona 4 again. Because, you know, that's, uh, that's what we do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Anyway, yeah, swing on by for that. We just rescued Kanji, and oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Because the gay. Oh, yes. Yakuza. 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 Oh, no, yeah. And those of you who like uh, Let's Play content. Yeah, Yakuza Zero LP starts tomorrow because it releases tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway. If you love my content, and if you love my content, then hey, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell if you haven't already. If you love my content, you can always support me on Patreon, sub uh, subscribe on Twitch, or fill up this cup if you're here live. Just like that. Everybody, I'll see you in the next video, but most of all, I'll become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a crown.